Well, welcome back to Living Local. So looking to catch a movie this weekend? Well, lucky for you, we have Mike Schultz, arts editor for The Reader, here to tell us all about what's new at the Cineplex. Indeed. It's good to see you again. <laughs> nice We've to see you. We've been done this together for a while. A long time, I, I know. Love, lucky you. I love it. Let's do this. <laughs> that sounds great. Tr Tristan will be back next weekend, though. That's so. fine. This is a pleasure. <laughs> okay. Seriously, I love it. Well, yes. thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and start off, Mike, with, yes. uh, with um, our review, which is a horror flick, yeah. Late Night with the Devil. Late Night with the Devil is so much fun. Is oh, it? my gosh. Are you a horror fan? I can't remember. I, I am. I oh, am. You might love this. Thing. Okay. It's so great. Late Night with the Devil. This is set in 1977 on Halloween night, and it's set in kind of a Tonight Show, kind of a late night uh, TV uh, series. Cool. And it is all about this gentleman who's kind of a Carson wannabe. He's been on the TV for six years. His ratings have been fine. He gets nominated for Emmys but doesn't win any. He <laughs> needs to, like, pick up his act, and he needs to save his show. So he decides on Halloween night, 1977, to book a parapsychologist and a medium and a little girl who looks quite a bit like Linda Blair from The Exorcist and is apparently Ooh. purportedly uh, possessed by a demon that they can conjure at will. So what we get in this movie, Brandy, is it's basically from start to finish what happened during this TV show. We get to see all of the talk show footage. They go to commercial and we kind of see what's going on behind the scenes. We come back to the show. And so basically it's a very slow build as you wait for the end of this show, which you know is going to basically <laughs> right. just blow the roof off the place. It is scary. It is funny. Is it, it, is it scary? It is scary. Okay. Yes, I really I really liked it uh, very much. It looks like a 70s TV show. It is shot it does. perfectly. And uh, the lead, David Desmalchen, is an incredibly good character actor who's been around for 15 years and you've seen him in Oppenheimer, The Dark Knight and Suicide Squad and on and on. This might be the first lead role he's ever had and he is spectacularly good at it. It is a, it's a blast. All these rave reviews, yeah. they're not kidding. This thing is just as much fun as you think. Yeah, it looks great. I, it does I, look great. I really enjoyed it. Yes, it uh, it it sets the. And it you sets have no idea. Perfectly. I mean, it, like you said, it looks like it was totally. It, everything was in the seventies. It was exactly yeah. when my parents let me stay up that late. I actually watched <laughs> right. late night TV. That's what it looked like. It was For crazy. Sure. I had a great time. Go see it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now let's take a look at some of our new movies okay. out in theaters. Godzilla. Versus Kong, versus Kong or Godzilla and Kong. Kong. It's, an, <laughs> it's an X. I mean, it could be Times Kong for all we know. Uh, yeah. You know, it could be <laughs> Kissy Face. You know, Kong. I don't know. Hey, it's Kong. It's Godzilla. Who cares what yeah. they put in between it? Yeah. Uh, for those who remember, back in 2021. Uh, Godzilla vs. Kong was basically the first blockbuster that got audiences back in theaters after the first year of COVID. Um, nothing was doing well at all, and this came and it made a whole bunch of money because people just wanted to see big monsters on the big screen. Why yeah. not? Yeah. So we are doing a follow-up to this. This one, I don't know a lot about the plot, but I do know about uh, part of it is that Kong finds out that there is a race of people, or people, <laughs> <and laughs> monkeys, uh, who look just like him, who live in the center of the earth that's hollowed out and basically just housing a whole bunch of uh, big apes these days. Uh, but they want to, of course, find a way to take over the world. There will be other titans, and the only ways we can defeat these creatures is if uh, Kong teams up with the hibernating Godzilla, and we cause a whole bunch of mayhem. Yeah. So... Probably no spoilers here, really. Probably. I think it's spoiler resistant. I don't think there's anything you could say. Yeah. Uh, it does have some cool humans in it as well. It has Rebecca Hall and Oscar nominee Brian Tyree Henry and Dan Stevens from Downton Abbey. Uh, so it has good folks. It's going to have a lot of action, as you can tell. Yeah. Um, uh, if, I, if I'm a little leery about it, it's only because another Godzilla movie that just won an Academy Award, came yeah. out in December and is in my top five favorite movies okay. of 23. So this has a lot to live up to to even come close to being that cool for me. But yeah. we'll give it a shot. Okay. Why not? All right. All right. What about, let's talk, talk to us about In the Land of Saints and Sinners. I'll only do now, this for you. Okay. Liam Neeson, right? Yeah, he's back. <laughs> and guess what? He has a gun, which doesn't happen more than seven or eight times a year. Right? Surprise. Uh, okay. So Liam Neeson with a gun again. This time it's the 1970s and just like Late Night with the Devil. And yeah. he is a former hired assassin, of course he is, who is now trying to give up <laughs> his violent ways. He takes over an Irish pub, and everything is lovely, and he's enjoying the scenery and the company. And then all of a sudden, a whole bad group of IRA, IRA terrorists decide to come to town and uh, cause all sorts of mayhem and mischief for the people of this small town. 
and Liam with the gun has to decide if he's going to keep his identity, former identity, a secret, or if he's going to come out and start shooting. Hey, I got an idea. I, I think I can mm -hmm. guess where this is going to go. Yeah, no spoilers. No spoilers again. <laughs> again, it doesn't matter. Um, but again, it's got good people in it. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people like Liam Neeson. Good yeah. for them. We also have Carrie Condon, who I love very much. And we have uh, Oscar nominee Karen Hines. And we have Colin Meany. It has a whole bunch of really great Irish character actors. It's going to have pretty scenery, if okay. nothing else. And uh, yeah. hey, look, there's Liam with a gun. So <laughs> for those who are going just for that, you will not be disappointed. All right, all right. Well, at least we'll there's see. one good one in there. I, yeah, I mean, fingers crossed. Fingers always, crossed. Yeah, I'm always optimistic. Yeah. So we'll see. All right. Well, yeah. Mike, it was great talking with you. Thanks always for being fun. here. Yeah, you bet. All right. So let's go over my, what Mike talked about. And the movie in review is Late Night with the Devil and new in theaters, Godzilla Kong, the new <laughs> empire, and in the land of saints and sinners. And you can read Mike's movie reviews online at rcreader.com. We'll also have all those details posted on ourquadcities.com.